Now, the last figure we're asked to do the volume of is a cylinder. And we know that volume is the inside of the figure. And so we have to use a formula. We know that the formula for volume is area of the base times the height. And in this case, the base is a circle. And we all know that Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear, and that area of the circle is pi r squared. So the formula for volume of a cylinder is going to be pi r squared height, meaning it's going to be 3.14 times radius times radius times height. And we know that it's the height of the whole figure, so we know that it's going to be the capital H because it's the height of the whole figure. Let's take a look at the first cylinder. It's kind of a short, fat one. We notice that we happen to have a radius of 4 inches, and we know it's the radius because it only goes halfway across the cylinder. We also know that we have a height of 6 inches. Now, when we go to calculate it, you'll notice at the bottom there are two ways that we are asked to calculate the volume. We're asked to calculate it using approximate and using exact. The thing to note is that approximate is going to be dealing with 3.14, whereas exact is going to be using the symbol pi. Now what this means is we know we're going to have to write our formula pi r squared height. So we fill in our numbers. We're going to use 3.14 times radius, times radius, times height, and we end up with 301.44 inches cubed. That's an approximate answer. The reason it's considered the approximate answer is because we've rounded pi. We've not given all the decimal points to pi because that's mathematically impossible since pi goes on forever and ever and ever and never ends, never repeats. A way to give an exact answer would be an answer that does not involve rounding. In order to do that, we are asked to leave pi alone. Leave it as the symbol. So all we really have to deal with is the radius squared times the height, which gives us 4 times 4 times 6, which is 96. Then we put pi on our answer and our unit's answer is cubed. So what this means is 96 times pi is going to give you the most exact answer. And because we have to round pi since we can't write all of the decimal points, that's why it's considered the exact answer and not the approximate. In looking at the second one, we note that we're given a diameter. So to find the radius, we have to take the diameter and divide it by 2. We know it's the diameter because it goes all the way across the circle and not halfway like the first one. And we know that the height is 12. So our formula is pi r squared height. We're doing approximate, so we're going to do 3.14 times the radius squared. And we know that radius squared means multiply the radius by itself times our height of 12 and that's going to give us an area or excuse me a volume of 461.58 inches cubed again this is our approximate volume because we've had to estimate what pi is we've rounded pi to 3.14 because we've rounded we have given an approximate answer to get the exact answer we leave pi alone. It stays as the symbol. So all we have to multiply is r squared times the height, and that gives us 147. We know we would need to multiply that by pi, and that would give us 
our, vol our exact volume because we have not had to round the answer.